Assalamu alaikum everybody. Okay, there's another hoodie that's sometimes quoted in defensive music. And it can be found in Abu Dawood. It was narrated that Nafi said, either Omar heard a woodland instrument and he put his fingers in his ears and kept away from that pad. He said to me, Oh Nafi, can you hear anything? I said no. So he took his fingers away from his ears and said, I was with the Prophet وسلم, and he heard something like this and he did the same thing. Now again, to understand this hadith, we must look at the sayings of the scholars about it. Even Quda al Marqadizi said, the listener is the one who intends to hear, which was not the case with even Umar Rayulakwan. And what happened in his case was hearing. The Prophet وسلم, need, needed to know when the sound stopped because he had moved away from the path and had blocked his ears. So he did not want to go back to that path or unblock his ears until the noise had stopped. So when he allowed even Omar to continue hearing it, this was because of necessity. And then we also read from Ibn Taymiyyah concerning music, which a person does not intend to listen to, there is no prohibition or blame, according to, according to scholarly consensus. Hence, blame or praise is connected to listening, not hearing. Now from this, we can refute the people who might argue like, oh, musical instruments can't be heard on because we're surrounded by them all the time. But we actually know that it's not haram just to hear it walking down the street or hear it in a store or something. What's haram is to purposefully try and listen to it. Alright everybody. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. There's blessings and peace be upon everyone. Bye.